Aortic valve sclerosis is usually diagnosed on two-dimensional echocardiography by focal areas of increased thickening and calcification of valve leaflets with normal motion and a velocity less than 2.5 meters per second. According to the new valve disease guidelines, aortic valve sclerosis has a gradient of less than 25 millimeters of mercury and represents stage A of aortic stenosis. Listen to a patient with aortic sclerosis and notice how the murmur peaks early in systole. Using two-dimensional echo imaging to diagnose aortic valve sclerosis is subjective. However, CT scans of the aortic valve can quantitate the amount of calcium in the aortic leaflets. Although some may consider the murmur of aortic sclerosis an unremarkable finding, in fact, it represents two distinct risks. First, the rate of progression to aortic stenosis is 10% over five years. In addition, patients with aortic valve sclerosis have an increased incidence of cardiovascular complications, including coronary events, stroke, and premature death. The murmur of aortic valve sclerosis should be distinguished from an innocent murmur. By definition, innocent murmurs occur in the absence of any cardiovascular abnormalities. Innocent murmurs are due to an increased velocity across the normal aortic valve. Listen first to a patient with aortic sclerosis and compare that to an innocent murmur. First, aortic sclerosis. and now an innocent murmur. Innocent murmurs occur when blood is ejected through a narrow area with sufficient velocity to produce turbulence. As shown here, blood leaving the left ventricle is accelerated through the reduced cross-sectional area of a normal aortic valve with sufficient turbulence to cause an audible murmur. Listen once again to a patient with an innocent murmur. Ever since the invention of the stethoscope, it has been appreciated that even a normal aortic valve can generate a murmur. It is important to separate innocent murmurs with their benign prognosis from the more significant finding of aortic valve sclerosis. Listen once again to the murmur of aortic valve sclerosis and compare that to an innocent murmur. Once the gradient across the aortic valve reaches 25 millimeters of mercury, most clinicians would label this lesion as aortic stenosis. All patients with aortic stenosis should have an imaging study to confirm the presence of two or three leaflets, as well as the size of the aortic sinuses, the sinotubular junction, and the ascending aorta. Listen to the contrast between aortic valve sclerosis and significant aortic stenosis. First, aortic sclerosis. and now significant aortic stenosis.
Patients with aortic valve sclerosis have been shown to progress to aortic stenosis at approximately 2% per year. According to the American College of Cardiology guidelines, statins do not slow the progression of aortic stenosis. Listen once again to a patient with aortic sclerosis and compare that to a patient with aortic stenosis. First, aortic sclerosis. And now, significant aortic stenosis. In summary, patients with aortic valve sclerosis have focally thickened and calcified leaflets with only mild gradients. They are at increased risk of cardiovascular complications and should have any comorbid conditions treated with guideline-directed medical therapy. Statins do not prevent progression to higher degrees of aortic stenosis. Listen once again to a patient with aortic valve sclerosis. <laughs>